हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज अभिषेक बघेरवाल वेलकम टू सेल्स फोर्स ऑमनी स्टूडियो सीरीज इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोना शो यू हाउ टू कॉन्फिगर इंटीग्रेशन प्रोसीजर इन ऑमनी स्टूडियो सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो आई एम गोना क्रिएट एन इंटीग्रेशन प्रोसीजर विच विल विच विल फेच एन अकाउंट रिकॉर्ड एंड क्लोन द अकाउंट रिकॉर्ड एंड सेव इट and along with that i am going to uh, make use of email action as well to send out an email so i am just going to create two data raptors what to fetch the data and what to save the data then i will put both the data raptors into the integration procedure so click new so i am keeping uh, a prefix name as alpha fetch account interface type i'm giving as turbo extract that means from one single salesforce object i want to fetch the records input type as json output type as json and save it now on the data raptor console i am going to configure the object from which i need the data the output path i am giving it as account and filter i am giving id equals to account id okay so fields which i want those are account number name for sure because that's a mandatory field on account let's keep phone and the website okay so these few details i would want to get now on the preview let's just uh, test it so i need to provide this account id here so let's take any existing account okay let's take university of arizona click execute so as you can see it has returned the uh, record with the fields uh, which i have asked for okay now let's configure the data raptor to post the details again click new keeping the same prefix as alpha clone account this time interface type would be load input json giving it as json and output as object click save so again on the data raptor console i'm going to provide the object name as account and now in the fields you need to map the fields which fields are coming in the data raptor and which fields you are pushing on the account object while creating the records so for that i'm going to use this response from the get data raptor control c and i'm going to put it as the input json once you put it click on this quick match and click on automate so all the fields have been map mapped you can remove account id because we are going to create the new account so id is not needed account number name phone website these fields you can keep now once that is done let's see uh, it in action whether it's working or not in the preview the same input which i have used for the fields mapping i'm going to provide as the input to test it out and uh, click execute so it has provided an id in the return so let's open this so as you can see the account for university of arizona arizona has been cloned with the fields which uh, we have configured so here you can see a lot most, most of details are there this is the uh, main account and this is the cloned version of the account it does have phone website name and account number so these only those fields which we have configured okay so i'm just going to delete it because when we are going to execute it from integration procedure we would need to see whether the account is created or not 
okay so this is also done now let's create a integration procedure click new so i'm gonna keep the same prefix alpha clone account underscore ip i'm giving so i can I can understand it that that is it's an integration procedure so here I am giving the name as alpha and in the subtype I am keeping the remaining name the small c once you save it then you can configure this integration procedure so on the structure panel first I am gonna post uh, data after turbo action to fetch the account so here i am going to select alpha fetch account now we need to provide the input parameters so we have configured account id here so we need to provide account id and from integration procedure also i am keeping the same name which i am going to provide the account id now let's uh, create another next action that would be our post action so data after post action i am going to put here here uh, you do not need to provide anything just interface you select that would be our alpha clone account here we have selected fetch account to get the details and here we have selected clone account to uh, post the details basically to create the new account a cloned version now uh, next thing what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna trigger an email to my email address for instance you can configure uh, an email template also and uh, use the merge fields and other stuff to send out the email so here i'm just uh, keeping a uh, testing information like account cloned successfully same thing i'm putting in the email body now at last i'm just putting a response action okay so what i need in response action is the uh, the post action when my account is created so whatever is coming in the response that i want to see as the response of this integration procedure so in the json send json path i'm putting this post action name element name so once that is done i'm just gonna save it and let's try to test it out so i will just go to preview tab here i'm gonna provide the json and in the json again i'm gonna provide the account id so i'm just gonna use this account again university of arizona and i'm just gonna paste this id here click execute okay so it says that uh, some field is missing as name so let's see so it is uh, turbo action details it is fetching then in the post action it is uh, hitting some error okay let's see that so this is our post action so let's uh, just try this one thing let's map this id field as well click save and let's try it now okay click save once now go to preview click execute again again it is giving the error so let's go back to and on account id let's try to provide absurd key and is required for absurd 
refresh it once. Okay, now something is uh, not working. Let's see. Okay. So the thing is, it is needed this thing, or maybe let me just remove it. Now let's try to see it again. Okay, so it says the required field is missing. Anyway, we are providing the name field and if we do this like this, then it is creating the account. Okay. Let's uh, review the integration procedure once again. So first we have configured this turbo action to fetch the account details. We are providing account ID. Then in the post action, we are not saying anything. We are not doing anything over here. And uh, okay. So let's try one thing. In the post action, uh, or in the yeah, in the post action, let's try to give just account here and let's save it. Okay, so it says no input object sent now. Okay. Okay, yeah, we need to provide this element name to our post action as well. That's what I believe the reason it's not working. Okay, it's saved. Now let's try it. Yeah, so as you can see now, it's work, it's working. So I'm just gonna open. A new tab and let's see whether this is the cloned account or not so in response it has provided us uh, account number name and ID website phone and all some other values so as you can see this was our uh, main account and it does have all lots of information on it and this is the account which we have created using our integration procedure so it only has account name account number website and phone the the fields which we have configured only okay so it doesn't have all the fields only the fields which we are which we have mapped from the fetch to account record only those fields are populated and it's working as the and let's uh, see that whether email is sent out or not so i'm just gonna go to so as you can see we have hit multiple times so the email came to me as account cloned successfully so that is also working and response section we are receiving the response here so this is the response we are receiving that that means that is also working so that's how you can configure the uh, integration procedure so as you can see uh, i have done like three things i am working uh, i am doing in this integration procedure one is getting the data by passing the account id over here okay 
then I am using this turbo action uh, response in my post action. So as uh, you can see the element name of data director turbo action one I have given as the JSON send JSON path to the post action. Okay, so it's gonna use whatever response is coming from the get uh, action. It's gonna use that response and it's gonna do its work. That is to create a new account, which we are calling as cloned account. Then it's gonna send out the email and it's uh, finally the response action. So in the response, I am what I am gonna show is the data raptor post action one response. Okay, so this data raptor is giving me all of this response along with the account ID and its details, whichever we have provided. So that's how you can configure integration procedure in Omni Studio, where you want to uh, you want to do multiple actions in a single call or at a single place. So you can make use of integration procedure because data raptor can only do one thing at a time either it can get or it can post the data okay if multiple things you want to do at the same time then you can go for integration procedure so that was all about this video if you like it please like it and comment on it for more please subscribe my channel as a wish thank you